let's make a footprint. So we, just to recap, we made this custom part from this data sheet, but we don't yet have a footprint so that we can place it in our PCB. So let's get cracking with that. Just like before, there's a button up here for opening the footprint editor. And we can see all the built-in libraries for KiCad, but once again, we'll create a new library. So uh, schematic libraries and footprint libraries are separate in KiCad. But just like before, I'm going to call it components. And dot pretty is the extension for KiCad footprints. So that's going straight into our working directory. And again, we need to make this a uh, a project scope library. And you can see that entry has just been made here. So selecting my library, I can right click and create new footprint. And this is for a span 02. Beautiful. So I remember that it has eight pins. If we go back to our data sheet, we have a package with eight pins, the fourth removed. And they're all separated by, what are they separated by? Yeah, that's a 0.1 inch pitch. So a 2.54 millimeter pitch. So I'll just place those real quick. To help out, I'll set my grid to, uh, what is it, 0.1 inch is 100 mils. Yeah, 2.54 millimeters. And I'll just scattergun these out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I can just delete number four and, that, and the pin numbering all works. And what else do we have? We have this, this bounding box around the pins that sets our, uh, our footprint, I guess, for the part. So this is what will appear on your silk screen. It's what will appear on your uh, fabrication layers if you have like an assembly house. But this, the super important thing about this view here is this is a bottom view. Oh man, like has this tripped me up before? If you make if you make the outline as you see it here, you're going to wind up with a part that's upside down because this view is looking at the bottom of the part because it's a technical drawing. And our footprint editor is as if we're looking through the top of the part. So actually, I need to reflect the part along this axis. I think the easiest thing to do is going to be to draw the box first and then shift it afterwards. So what do we have? We have 21.8 millimeters across and 9.2. 21.8 by 9.2. So what I'm going to do is set my grid to 0.1 millimeters just so I can draw it out. Uh, select the right layer. So I want to draw on the front silk screen. This is the outline of our component. And I'll use this graphic line tool. And rather than draw it where it ought to be and that like do all the math off these references, I'm just going to draw it off pin one and then move it. So what do we need? We need 21.8 and 9.2. So what I can do here is press my space bar. Oh, actually, I didn't even need to do that. These DX, DY, symbol uh, readouts down the bottom are showing me the, the last line. So I can just drag down off the bottom of the screen and go to 9.2. And then just close the loop. And double click here to finish. So that's our outline. And now we just need to shift it where it needs to be. And it is offset by 3.5 3.5 and 2. So I'll just get the select tool, select each of the lines. Is that straight? That doesn't look straight. Just fix my my wonky line there. So let's select all of our lines and shift them up by 3.5. So I can go to right click, move exactly, and I'll move by negative 3.5. Beautiful. 
and I need to shift it across by two. Uh, so I can do that again, except this time move exactly and I'll move it negative two. Okay, so you'll notice that the narrow side is up the top because I've reflected the part across this axis to account for us looking here at the bottom view and here at the top view. So that was our silk layer. You really ought to do the same again with the front courtyard layer. Cool, got a complete part. Back to E schema, we can go back to assign footprints. We can go to our last part, go to our components library. I just typed the first couple of letters to search for it and assign our component. Hit OK. If we go back to PCB new, we can update changes. Hit update. Hey, there's our part. And if we go, if we press Alt 3 to go back to the 3D view, we can see our new part is in place. I guess next up we, we'd better wrap this. Let's get cracking.